Hey guys, welcome back to the World 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about to have a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out the Witcher Enhanced Edition for the PC. As you can tell, we're right off the bat, we're running into some graphical issues here, which I cannot care for at this point in time. So today we're testing it out on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the Intel HD 4600 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode. And I am playing at 720p on the medium preset. We could do high, but I think I'll stick here and have some fun with this. Obviously this is a very old game. 1080p was giving me just above 30, which was kind of crazy to me. It was kind of wild, but hey, nonetheless. Hey villagers, what's good? Oh gosh, I'm glad I didn't hit anybody there. If you're wondering, I don't know how to do anything. That's probably why everything is pretty much pain. I decided, meh, you know what I'll do? I'll just play the game. Any animals or enemies to attack, or maybe I should just start from the main game and hope for the best. I picked here because I thought it'd be easier, but I'm honestly ready. Yes, enemies. Yeah, boy. Time to die. Yes, face my blade. Face my blade. These damn drowners. Face my blade. Face the blade. Boy, I remember, which is, this is the reason why I love The Witcher. I never played this game. Never. This is the reason why. Because I knew how terrible it was. That's why, dude, to play The Witcher games are, is always so jarring. They need to remake this one, man. I always say that. Always. It's really bad. <laughs> Dude, you're fighting the wrong guy. Oh damn, I kinda thought you guys were dead there. Oh yeah, he's dead. Let me be real with you. I like I said I haven't learned to play this in any way, shape, or form. I just thought, meh, let's see what happens. And clearly you can see there is a struggle here. With me not understanding what's going on. So I'm just gonna get beat up for a bit longer and then eventually... Yay! Witcher! I'm a witcher! Dude, I told you, I, I, I hate the first game. It's just terrible. I've never even tried it before. This is the first time I'm running this game. I remember saying to myself, holy crap, this looks jarring. The first one I played was The Witcher 2. And I love that. That crap looked amazing for the time when it first came out. I was like, damn, this looks awesome. The Witcher 3, the Witcher, just The Witcher, pretty much sucks. But let's go back to the main menu and start the main game and see what happens. Just for craps and giggles. Wouldn't it be better if I played with just the mouse? Yeah, sure, sure, why not? Why not? I'm really gonna do this, and if it's easier with just the mouse, I can do that. Oh, we're going to take care of Morin. Yeah, like I said, this, The Witcher 2 was the first game I played, but look at this. Look how demanding this is. We're using over 7 gigs of RAM. The, seven, the extra RAM definitely helps this, I'll tell you that much. Which is why you can play at 720p media. Probably could have done 720p high, the like Northern say. Kingdoms nursed a just because of this. How about the new battle? Bro, what's going on? What is this? What is this? Oh 
Oh my gosh, he actually took that much damage to die. Stay away or I'll you like sweet. Look at Chris over there firing electricity, dropping my frames. How do you feel? Fine. Terrible. Anyone this this does not hold are? up. Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. I mean, like I said, this is what makes this such an interesting tale for a series, dude. They really push the boundaries going forward into further games. Because look how terrible this one is. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I gotta say it. This is bad. This does not hold up. Witcher 2 holds up. I can play The Witcher 2 and not care. But which, which, they said such far departures and graphically as well. I said the same thing to someone playing Witcher 3 because I believe a lot of people Witcher 3 brought it really mainstream. But I knew Witcher 2 beforehand, way before, like when it came out What's I would play Witcher 2. They're trying to break and down the gate! It's, it they was giant from Witcher 2 to Witcher 3 kinda, right. even for me. Look, imagine how, if you if you never played, Shit, the Witcher, you played Witcher 3 and that a was it. Boy, One that those effects are destroying my frame rate, what the heck? Savola. And then you decided, I whoa, I want to play the other game. Was awesome. I want to play the other insane. games. No, you don't. No, you don't. Them part, them effects, man. Them particle effects. They ain't playing. I'm not gonna lure it down just because of that, but I mean, them effects are crazy. They're coming up here. Get ready. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, There's comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. The one in like I said, you can run this game on pretty hire. much anything. Give me a toaster, realistically. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Literally a toaster you could run this on, but hey. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. I just wanted to show it because I have all three Witcher 3 games, Witcher games, and I will be testing them out. On the channel. The professor is wanted in Redania, you guys Tamaria, next time. and Kedwin, a real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bells in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. 